Let's go back to the female, starting with the gross anatomy. And when I do this, I'm actually going to review some of that, just that last video related to um, sperm exiting. There's a few things I talked about that I think will be helpful to see on this picture. Let's just get started. Um, we're not going to do every single piece of anatomy here, but there's going to be some various parts that come up at different times, um, either oogenesis, follicular development, or um, actually making a baby. So let's, let me just go through in the order I have on my slides over here. Some of these you've done before, right? We talked about ovaries already. I'm going to label them both places. Um, yep, that's here. Ovaries are shown in blue. These are the gonads in the female where eggs are produced. We have a uterus. uterus. It is about the shape, let's see this right here, um, the size of a pear, so pretty small. It is going to grow if you have a baby inside of it. Connected to the uterus are these tubes here. Um, I don't even know which arrow is supposed to be pointing to these. Um, so let's just do this, these tubes right here. These are going to be your fallopian or uterine tubes. Put that uterine. These go from adjacent to the ovary and then connect to the uterus. So connecting the ovary to the uterus. Let's see, we've got the vagina that is again internal anatomy. Anatomy. <laughs> this is the vagina from this view. It is a muscular tube. That you cannot see from the outside. It is going to connect um, to the uterus via the cervix is in between. So this is the cervix. And this is the one I mentioned in that last video um, that is, you can see it's a little like, it's a little hole and it gets bigger or smaller, here it is on this, from this view, depending on the um, stage in the ovarian cycle, so the time of month, and depending on whether a baby is about to come out or not. Those are the two things that can that cycle in the female. Uh, it also is influenced by prostaglandins. So prostaglandins produced by the seminal vesicles can um, soften the cervix and make it open up a little bit. You can see how that would be useful if you're trying to get a little sperm is trying to get a lot smaller than that, right? That's not to scale. Um, it's trying to swim up here. It needs to actually enter through here. It's going to enter through the cervix. So having that hole be a little bit larger is helpful. Okay, last, nope, two more. Um, we've got the vulva is the external part, kind of all this stuff. Um, down here is the vulva. So that is the labia major and minor, the, um, the lips that you can see. Also, part of that is going to be the clitoris, which is important for making um, sexual activity something enjoyable for females as well. 